What's good, everyone? This is DJ's Raw and Cut Truth, giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. And man, college football has officially arrived. I know we had week zero, but damn it, this is week one. And uh, I'm excited. The Orange Blossom Classic, a display of our culture for our people from the bands, the Sonic Boom, and to FAMU. They have a solid band as well uh to the performance on the field i hope it's a show for, from both teams especially that's the objective jackson state and fam you must put high quality football now there there will be mistakes especially fam you fam you hasn't played since 2019 so there's going to be rust but I want to see good hits, big plays, and most importantly, execution. That's the most important part. But I want to talk about Coach Prime. He has done a lot for Jackson State. And I mean a lot. New practice field. And I know people will talk about other teams. Well, they had this and they had that. Jackson State has had a problem with their practice field, potholes on the field. You could literally have injuries on there. On grass, it's, it's, it just wasn't, you know, it's not up to date. So I'm glad Coach Prime had it all rectified. But I'm going to tell you why I'm rooting for him. Not only him, but his family. Since he has entered the SWAC, there's been a lot of nitpicking. Even though this is his first year. First year. He's not doing this. He's not coaching like this. He's not doing this with the roster. Why is he playing his son? And speaking of his son, Shadur, let's keep it a buck. If you're a four-star and you're going, at not just a four-star athlete, who sometimes play quarterback. I'm talking about a four-star pocket passer who had other options. If you're a four-star quarterback who had a lot of options, if you're going to go to an FCS school, it's first dibs on everything. It's first dibs. You're going to get star treatment. And plus, that's his son. So if I was coaching the HBCU and my son is a four-star quarterback, you damn sure I'm going to give him all the, the opportunity to play and to start. And one thing that they don't talk about, this run-and-shoot offense, Shadir Sanders knows this offense from the back of his hand. He's been playing this type of offense his whole football career. The only thing Shadir has to really work on is just getting used to the college game due to him being a freshman. That's about it. But he's built for it. I, I've look, I looked at all types of interviews from Shadir, and he seems like he's way mature beyond his age. Like the spotlight doesn't phase him. Now the Orange Boss Blossom Classic. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fans. I, I, I'm hearing sixty to sixty-five thousand fans in the seat in the stadium. That would be the most people should ever see in the crowd ever since ever. He never seen it in high school. So I want to see how he adjusts to that. But all I ask for Shadir Sanders is to when he plays, make the smart play. You don't have to be a superhero. You got a ton of athletes. You got to, I mean, from the receiver position to the running back position, they're set. Offensive line is revamped. Uh, just take what the defense gives you. And that's just for game one. 
This game is important. If FAMU wins this game, the only game I can see them losing to is uh, I think they're playing USF on the schedule. That's about it. They have added some talent. They perhaps have the best safety duo in the FCS with uh, Marquise Bell and Anton Collier, who's played at UCF. It was all conference in the AAC. So that's going to be a problem. They have to win this game. If Jackson State loses this game, I know people are going to say, oh, it's just one game. But, man, you don't want to lose them. <laughs> I understand if Jackson State had a hiccup and lost to, let's say, let's say if they lost to Prairie VA and them or something because they underestimated their opponent. Fine. But do not lose the first game. This is uh, Coach Willie Simmons. And I, I believe I said this on my show. I pointed it out. He talked about how important the first game is. He said whoever wins this matchup could possibly go to the SWAC championship. I, I believe that. I know people are talking about Alabama State. They have a talented quarterback in the kill glass. Uh, Abdul, the receiver is dope. And uh, Brian Jenkins is electrifying. I get all that. But the momentum that it will have for both of these teams, if one of them wins, will be paramount. And if FAMU wins this game, then they'll start getting better and they get more confidence and they'll knock the rust off. It's been almost two years due to COVID. This is why I'm excited. All eyes on them. All eyes on the HBCUs. This is what we wanted in our community in regards to sports. To exceeding the playing field. First, I was on the bandwagon of leveling the playing field. And now, then I had to think, how about we all exceed the playing field? And that's the dream. It may not be reality, but it's my dream. My dream and many others' dream is for four and five stars to consider HBCUs. It's going to take time. It's going to take facility upgrades. It's going to take a vision. But that's why Coach Prime is here. Look at the spotlight he's given to HBCUs, and he still doesn't give credit, get credit. He's getting hated on every single time. If Jackson State wins this game by, let's say, 35 to 21, they're going to point out, I thought they were really good. They only beat this team by two touchdowns. It hasn't played in a while. You know it's coming. So what Jackson State has to do is worry about themselves, stick to their training, stick to their assignment, and play smart football. Be at the right place, worried about your job, when I say your job, I mean the skill position. If someone messed up, that's on them. But that's something that they've got to work on, and I'm sure they're they're getting the kinks out. So no, what, no matter what happens in this game, Jackson State's going to get critiqued. The only way Jackson State doesn't get critiqued is if they win this game by 30. And I don't know if they're going to win this game by 30. I, I truly don't know that. Would I be surprised if they did? No. But I think FAMU is going to play with a lot of hunger, which is great. You don't want to see two SWAC teams getting uh, like, you don't want to see a SWAC marquee matchup where one team is getting blown out from the f face of the earth. <laughs> like we, we don't want to see all that. We want to see high level competition. But Coach Prime, man, he's he's doing his thing. One day he'll get his respect. One day. I respect him. I respect what he's doing. The spotlight. And um I'm glad he's bringing the blueprint to other swag schools. It's crazy. He's he's always, and when I say he, Coach Prime. 
he's always talked about quote unquote we HBCUs in most of his interviews. And people still don't want to embrace him. Just because someone's not perfect doesn't mean they're a great leader. That they're not a great leader. Coach Prime has handled every single adversity so far from the uh, the water crisis in Mississippi to reconstructing a roster is never easy. He's dealt with it all. And the only way for him to silence his critics in the wise words of Al Davis of the Raiders, just win. Winning takes care of everything. And when they win, watch how many of the distractors come out of the shadows and say this. Man, I knew Jackson State was cold. I knew they was cold. They representing the swag. You're going to hear that if they turn the table this year. I guarantee it. And I'm going to sit back and say, hmm. You guys weren't saying it like that. You guys didn't support that team like you are now. You're just doing it because they're winning. That's exactly what's going to happen. So to JSU, um, Coach Prime, and the players, you're playing for more than yourselves. You're playing for the likeliness of our people and fam you too. They're important too. This means everything to be on national television. And I know ESPN six, seven, eight, none of those. This is ESPN two on Labor Day on Sunday. Not too many teams in college are playing on Sunday. The only one I can think of, I believe Grambling is playing Tennessee State. Shout out to Eddie George. But the time is now. The time is to put on a show and to rise above the hate. And boy, oh boy, it's going to be a joy to watch. Peace and blessings to everyone. Have a positive day. Love your friends. Love your family. Be the best person you could be. Help those who are in need. Reach out to people who may need assistance or something. We got to get back to that. We got to get back to that. And also, shout out to the homie Swag Buzz, man. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. A great brother who has been to a HBCU. He graduated in Jackson State. He's from Jackson. He reps it to the fullest, but he's objective. And that's why I respect him. So subscribe to his channel, the CFL Podcast. Another good YouTuber. Subscribe to him. Hoop Jargon. For uh, He talks about swag content. Those three guys I listed are the fast risers of SWAT content. And subscribe to them now, man. Content is amazing. Make sure you do that. This is DJ's Raw and Cut Truth giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. And I'm out. Yeah.